Hello, I'm Mrs. Root, Faculty of Nursing, Assam Downtown University. So now I'll be showing you the steps of mechanism of labor. Mechanism of labor is defined as a series of movements of the fetus in the passage through the birth canal. The principal movements of mechanism of labor includes the lie, which is longitudinal, the attitude is complete flexion, and presentation is cephalic. In the steps of mechanism of labor, the first point is descent. Descent occurs due to the contraction and retraction of the uterine muscles, and descent occurs throughout the labor process. It is a downward passage of the presenting part. Engagement. When the widest diameter of the female, fe fetal head enters the pelvic brim, then it is known as engagement. Here the occipital frontal diameter which is 10 cm enters the pelvic brim. Flexion. Descent continues and the occiput reaches the pelvic floor. Here the engaging diameter which is suboccipital frontal diameter 10 cm changes to the suboccipital bracmatic diameter 9.5 cm. Internal rotations of the head. The occiput is the leading part and the occiput moves one eighth of the circle towards the symphysis pubis and lies behind the symphysis pubis. Crowning. In, in crowning, the biparietal diameter sweeps the outlet transverse diameter and the head doesn't recede back even after contractions. Next, extension of the head. The subocciput, the face and the chin the sweeps the perineum and the head is delivered by extension. Next, restitution. Restitution is the untwisting of the neck, which takes place during the internal rotations of the head. Next point, delivery of the shoulder. Anterior, deliver, anterior shoulder is delivered first by downward tractions, followed by posterior shoulder by upward tractions and the trunk or the other parts of the body of the fetus by lateral flexion. So this is all about the steps of the mechanism of labor. Thank you.